The witches of Iceland have a unique and intriguing history, steeped in the folklore and supernatural traditions of the island. Unlike the witch trials in mainland Europe, where the majority of those accused were women, Icelandic witchcraft was historically dominated by men, and the country's witch trials reflected this unusual dynamic. Icelandic witchcraft, known as Galdr, has its roots in ancient Norse paganism, and the belief in magic, spells, and supernatural powers has long been a part of Icelandic culture. During the 17th century, Iceland experienced a wave of witch trials, much like other European countries. However, there is a notable distinction. Most of the individuals accused of witchcraft in Iceland were men, not women. Of the approximately 120 witch trials that took place in Iceland, around 90% of the accused were men. This is in stark contrast to the rest of Europe, where the vast majority of those tried and executed for witchcraft were women. The reasons for this gender imbalance are complex, but it is thought to be tied to the perception of magic and sorcery in Icelandic culture. In Iceland, magic was often seen as a learned skill, particularly associated with men who were thought to possess the knowledge of runes, spells, and magical staves. The most famous type of Icelandic magic is Galdrastafr, or magical staves. These are runic symbols believed to hold magical properties, and they were often carved onto objects, such as stones or pieces of wood, or written down in grimoires, known as Galdrabkur. These symbols were used for a variety of purposes, from protection against evil spirits to attracting luck or success. One of the most famous magical staves is the Gishjael Moor, or Helm of Awe, a symbol believed to grant the wearer strength and invincibility in battle. Another well-known stave is the Vegji Sur, a symbol used as a guide to help travelers find their way through rough weather or difficult terrain. During the witch trials in Iceland, accusations of sorcery were often linked to the use of these magical staves or spells. Many of those accused of witchcraft were men who had a reputation for practicing Galdr, and the charges against them often involved the use of magical symbols or spells to harm others or influence events. The peak of Iceland's witch trials occurred between 1,654 and 1,690, during which time at least 21 people were executed, the majority of them men. These trials were fueled by a combination of religious fervor, local disputes, and fear of the supernatural. The connection between Icelandic witchcraft and the country's harsh, isolated environment is also important. Iceland's volcanic landscape, extreme weather, and long, dark winters have contributed to a rich tradition of folklore, filled with stories of elves, trolls, spirits, and witches. Magic was often seen as a way to navigate the unpredictable and sometimes dangerous forces of nature. Witches were believed to have the power to control the elements, summon storms, or protect against natural disasters, making them both feared and respected figures in Icelandic society. In addition to the use of magical staves and runes, Icelandic witches were also thought to possess knowledge of herbalism and healing. They used plants and natural remedies in their spells, combining magical practices with traditional medicine. This blend of magic and healing made witches valuable to their communities, especially in remote areas where access to formal medical care was limited. Despite the fear and persecution of witches during the 17th century, belief in magic and the supernatural has persisted in Icelandic culture. Even today, there is a strong connection to folklore and the unseen world. Many Icelanders still believe in the existence of Holdefelk, hidden people or elves, and take precautions to avoid disturbing their habitats. This enduring belief in the supernatural is a testament to the deep cultural roots of magic and witchcraft in Iceland. In modern times, Iceland has embraced its magical heritage, and there are museums and exhibits dedicated to the country's history of witchcraft and sorcery. One such museum is the Museum of Icelandic Sorcery and Witchcraft in H. L. K., which showcases artifacts, manuscripts, and stories related to Icelandic magic. Visitors can learn about the history of the witch trials, see examples of magical staves, and explore the folklore that has shaped Icelandic beliefs about magic. In conclusion, the witches of Iceland are a fascinating part of the country's history and culture. Unlike the witch trials in other parts of Europe, Iceland's witch hunts were dominated by accusations against men, reflecting the unique perception of magic in Icelandic society. Rooted in Norse paganism and influenced by the harsh natural environment, Icelandic witchcraft, particularly the use of galdr and magical staves, 
remains an important part of the country's folklore and identity. Today, the legacy of Icelandic witches continues to captivate those interested in magic, history, and the supernatural.